A true warrior knows their strengths as well as their weaknesses and how to get around them. A true warrior also has a good sense of fashion. In Titanfall 2, players have the option to augment the way their character plays and the way they look. In the case of the Titans, there are currently six Universal Titan kits and five Titan-specific kits to choose from, each with varying degrees of functionality and practicality. Today, we're going to talk about the one true warrior, Ronin, and his specific kits. Ricochet Rounds is another one of those great concepts that misses the mark. This kit causes your lead wall shotgun rounds to bounce when they hit a surface. It's nice for hitting pilots hiding from your blade inside a building, but that's about it. Ricochet Rounds are beneficial in niche situations, but when compared to Ronin's other kit options, it doesn't feel worthwhile. The Thunderstorm kit grants you an additional charge for Ronin's Arc Wave. It's not a complicated change, but it's an electrifying one that will be felt by you and your enemies. Arcwave deals moderate damage to enemy titans, but it also slows their movement and boosting speeds drastically, which means it'll be easier for you and your crew to give your opponents a good spank and slice. It also destroys particle wall and gun shield. If you've got good timing, you can completely negate enemy defenses and make their main strategies obsolete. Arcwave is a great tool for chasing down enemies and creating openings, but if you're in a situation where you can see the enemy but there's no safe way to engage, you can keep them at bay. Repeatedly zapping and slowing enemy titans just as they were gearing up for a charge is a great way to stall for time or control an area while you wait for your teammates to flank. Arcwave is an integral part of Ronin's kit, and having a second charge available to you at the start of a fight can give you an insane edge. Temporal Anomaly reduces the cooldown of Ronin's Phase Dash ability. This is another simple change that has potentially drastic effects on your battles. Phase Dash is great for all the things a standard Titan boost is good for, closing the distance, chasing enemies, running from enemies, etc. But Phase Dash, like the Phase Shift Pilot Tactical, has the added benefit of making you temporarily unhittable. It's offense and defense packed into one. Being able to mitigate some of your enemy's most powerful attacks by avoiding them altogether is great. Being able to dance circles around your enemies is also great. When you've got Temporal Anomaly installed, you'll feel stronger and faster than ever before. Your aggressive plays won't feel nearly as risky because your main escape tactic will be ready before you know it. Just remember this one thing, if you exit Phase Dash inside an enemy titan, you'll explode, so be careful. Phase Reflex takes a tremendous amount of pressure off an aggressive Ronin pilot. Normally when you throw caution to the wind, you've got to be ready to eject at a moment's notice or you'll be dining in hell alone. With Phase Reflex installed, Ronin will always have your back and send you into the Phase Realm the instant he enters the Doom State. This phase will last for about 3 seconds. During that time, you'll have a choice to make. Do you run or do you stay nearby and continue the fight once the phase is done? Also, you've got to remember, did I put on a clean pair of nuclear ejection today? If the answer is yes, that's your best option. The phase reflex is an oh shit button that activates itself, something I know we've all wished we had at some point in our lives. When paired with nuclear ejection, it's still got the same function, but it also comes with a parting gift that's very difficult to decline. One last thing to note, the phase shift nuclear ejection combo is not your primary method of attack. It's a finishing move. Pilot Ronin the way you'd normally would, then when your plan ultimately gets ruined by Tone and Scorch, stick up your middle fingers and blow them sky high. Last but certainly not least, we have Highlander. This kit extends the duration of your sword core after scoring a Titan kill. It's an extremely potent effect, but it's not always easy to pull off. Sword core puts you in a lot of danger, and sometimes scoring a kill while it's active isn't an option. Highlander has an insane potential to explode into a chain of glorious kills, but the chances of that devastating explosion happening are very slim if you aren't coordinated with your team or a god-tier Ronin pilot like our good friend Lord Zia. Highlander is a high-risk, high-reward titan kit. If you can handle yourself and your titan, your enemies won't know what hit them. But if you're not up to par, then it'll be a wasted slot. And there we go, this has been an overview of Ronin's Titan kits. 
As always, the name of the game is Titanfall 2, the name of the channel is iBlueAirJJR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.